Happy ending. Still ahead tonight, uh, what's an obscene four-letter word starting with B and ending in K? Bank. They talk about uh, tough footballers. Wait till you meet this bloke. Obviously, when it becomes a star player. In the uh, relatively short life of this program, 6.30's Leanne West has done quite a few football stories. League, AFL and, yes, the round ball as well. But uh, none have quite touched us like this one. You're about to meet David Gresh, a part-time player, but a full-time inspiration. This is David Gretsch's self-made YouTube video. The video that shows all the things he can do. They're things that doctors said he'd never do after a medical emergency at birth left him with cerebral palsy. I think they gave up on him to a certain degree, didn't they? Yeah. It was only due to the hard work of Joanne with physio and... and you know, she dragged him all over the place, and uh, once he started to walk, there was no stopping him. You gotta wipe out that you got a disability and be hard on yourself. A 21 year old boxer, gym junkie, and sprinter, every metre hard earned. Laying down is not gonna get me better at running. Running's gonna get me better at running. So I just get up, keep running. He always wanted to push the envelope, you know, do things that people told him he couldn't do. I think if you told him if he couldn't do it, he'd definitely try and do it. Like getting his driver's licence. David's car seat covers reveal his greatest passion, rugby league. His favourite player, the Dragons goal-kicking 5'8", Jamie Soward. I used to just uh, watch it on TV and go to bed and think about playing and... If I had the chance, how good I'd be, like, how hard I'd train. Enter George Tonner. Wonderful, come on. George also has cerebral palsy. Like David, he's been a footy fanatic with nowhere to play. So he formed the New South Wales Physical Disability Rugby League. My first game, I felt like a little kid again. Um, actually, that, that contact... Uh, that I, uh, I missed growing up as a kid because I was too small, I was disabled. David's the most physically challenged player in the league. He's also the keenest. When I first saw him um, walking down uh, towards me to meet me, I thought, oh, OK, we'll give this guy a go. But after the first five minutes, he sold himself. The league has played four exhibition matches with a view to starting a four-team competition in Sydney. Between those games, David's been improving his skills with his local footy club. I'd train all night. I wish it was every night. Two nights a week, he's on the park with the Mount Ann and Curran Hills Knights. He, he'll have a go in anything. I mean, he'll work out a way to do it, to get it done. David came down here at the start of the season and asked if he could train with the team. He hasn't looked back, and the Knights, too, are much richer for the experience. If some of the kids decide that they're going to uh, stand back and have a bit of a bludge and everything, they, when they look around and see that Dave's still doing it, it tends to give them the incentive to keep going. To say, well, if he can do it, we can do it. It's go hard or go home, but not before David's best Jamie Soward impersonation. appreciate what you got and, and make the best of what you got and yeah. to me that's what David's all about really. How about that straight over the black